Welcome back to Linux Network. Kubuntu, one of the popular official flavors of Ubuntu, is designed to provide a smooth, stable and user-friendly Linux experience with the KDE Plasma desktop environment. The latest version, Kubuntu 24.10 Beta, introduces a number of exciting updates that make it even more modern, future-rich and powerful. Whether you're new to Linux or a seasoned user, this release has plenty to offer. So, let's break down the key features of this beta release and what they mean for you as a user. One of the most significant changes in Ubuntu 24.10 Beta is the upgrade to Plasma 6, the latest version of the KDE desktop environment. If you're unfamiliar with KDE Plasma, it's the graphical user interface that you interact with, the desktop, panels, menus and windows. Plasma is known for its flexibility, allowing users to customize nearly every aspect of how their desktop looks and works. Plasma 6 is based on a new version of the software development framework called Qt6. This framework is a collection of tools and libraries that developers use to build software. The move to Qt6 brings numerous improvements in performance, stability and features to the KDE desktop. It also ensures that Plasma is ready for the future, supporting the latest hardware and software technologies. Kubuntu 24.10 Beta ships with Plasma 6.1, which is the second major update in the Plasma 6 series. This version of Plasma includes the fifth bug fix release, 6.15, meaning that many small issues have been fixed to improve the overall user experience. Bug fix releases don't usually introduce new features, but they ensure that the system runs more smoothly and reliably. For users who love to customize their desktop, Plasma 6 continues to offer a wide range of options to change the look and feel of your system. You can easily adjust themes, add widgets and tweak various settings to suit your preferences. Another major change in Kubuntu 24.10 is the switch to Wayland as a default display server. If you're wondering what a display server is, it's the software that controls how graphics are displayed on your screen. For years, most Linux systems including Kubuntu used a display server called X11, or just X. While X11 has served as well for decades, it's showing its age and has some limitation when it comes to modern computing needs. Wayland is a more modern alternative to X11 that provides smoother graphics, better support for high resolution displays and improved security. It's designed to handle modern hardware and applications more efficiently. By making Wayland the default in Kubuntu 24.10 Beta, the Kubuntu team is embracing the future of display technology. Don't worry if you have an older system or if you run into issues with Wayland, Kubuntu still allows you to switch back to X11 if needed. The display manager, called SDDM, gives you the option to choose between Wayland and X11 at the login screen. What's more, Kubuntu will remember the last session type you used so you won't have to switch every time you log in. As mentioned earlier, Kubuntu 24.10 brings the new Qt6 framework to your system. Qt is the technology that powers KDE Plasma and many of the applications you use on your desktop. The new version, Qt6, is faster, more efficient and better suited for modern hardware than the older Qt5. Along with Qt, Kubuntu also ships with the latest version of KDE frameworks. These are libraries that KDE applications rely on to provide various features such as file handling, networking and display management. Kubuntu 24.10 includes KDE Framework 6, version 6.5.0, ensuring that KDE apps are well supported and capable of taking advantage of all the new features in Plasma 6. However, not all KDE applications have fully transitioned to Qt6 yet. Some are still based on the older Qt5 framework. To maintain compatibility, Kubuntu 24.10 includes both Qt6 and Qt5 along with KDE Frameworks 5.116.0. This means you can continue using your favorite KDE applications even if they haven't been updated to Qt6 yet, without any compatibility issues. Speaking of KDE applications, Kubuntu 24.10 Beta comes with a mix of updated and existing apps. Many of the core applications have been upgraded to the latest version from the KDE Gear 24.8 suite. KDE Gear is the name of the collection of software that KDE developers maintain, including popular applications like Dolphin, the File Manager, Console, the Terminal Emulator, and Krita, the Digital Painting Program. However, not all apps have been updated in this release. Some may still remain at 23.8, which was the previous version of KDE Gear. Even so, these applications are still powerful and fully functional, so you won't miss out on any key features. 
Ubuntu's commitment to delivering the latest and greatest KDE applications ensures that your system remains modern and capable, whether you're managing files, browsing the web, or creating art. No desktop operating system is complete without a web browser and an office suite, and Kubuntu 24.10 Beta doesn't disappoint in this regard. The default web browser in this release is Firefox 130, which is provided as a Snap package. Snaps are type of software packages that can be easily installed and updated through the Snap Store. Firefox is one of the most popular and secure web browser available, and the user of the Snap package means that you'll always have the latest version with the newest security patches and features. If you're not a fan of Snap packages, you can always install Firefox or another browser through traditional package management tools like APT. For Office productivity, Kubuntu 24.10 Beta includes LibreOffice 24.8 by default. LibreOffice is a full-featured Office suite that includes a word processor, spreadsheet applications, presentation software, and more. It's a powerful alternative to proprietary Office suite like Microsoft Office and it works well for creating documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. At the core of any operating system is the Linux kernel, the software that manages your computer's hardware and allows your applications to communicate with. Kubuntu 24.10 Beta comes with Linux kernel 6.11, one of the latest versions available at the time of release. The kernel plays a crucial role in ensuring that your system can run smoothly and efficiently. With each new kernel release, developers add support for the latest hardware, fix bugs and improve performance. Kernel 6.11 is no exception, providing better compatibility with modern CPUs, GPUs and other hardware components. Whether you're running a high-end gaming PC or an old laptop, this kernel ensures that your system will work well. All around, Kubuntu 24.10 Beta represents a significant step forward for the Kubuntu project. With the introduction of Plasma 6, Wayland as the default display server, and updates to the core applications, this release brings a wealth of new features and improvements to the table. The inclusion of the latest Linux kernel ensures that the system remains compatible with modern hardware, while the use of Snap packages for essential software like Firefox guarantees you you'll always have the latest updates. If you're a fan of KDE Plasma or just curious about trying a Linux distribution that focuses on stability and customization, Kubuntu 24.10 Beta is definitely worth checking out. Whether you're a new user or a seasoned Linux enthusiast, this release offers something for everyone. And as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.